Last time on Corpse Party Blood Drive. They're called Ever After Stones. I'm even considering bringing people to that cursed dimension on tour if I can. That is a HORRIBLE idea! Huh? <gasps> hmm? ah! In a close to one solid motion as I can manage, I open the window and chuck the two stones out into the road! Yeah! He's trying to keep her safe! They're okay, but they were run over by a truck. Nirvana, I summon the dead. Oh fuck! I remember this classroom! Oh no! <laughs> Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to... Corpse Party Blood Drive. So, do I have a map? I don't think I have a map. Oh, that's not good. I don't have a map. Uh, oh, ew. Oh, there's blood on those. Oh! Oh, God! Heavenly Host is falling apart more than ever before. As a result, there are numerous hazards to watch out for. Um. From broken glass to splinters, segment on will lower your HP. Depending on the hazard encountered, the only current selectable character can get hurt, or the entire party may take damage. Okay, um, d d fuck. Ow! Ow! Glass! <laughs> Believe it or not, I am doing this on purpose, because I'm pretty sure this is going to result in a bad ending, is just dying here. But, um... Either way, welcome back, everybody. So last time, we decided to actually uh, come back to uh, Heavenly Host Elementary. Despite Kishinuma trying to save us by trying to destroy, we got the two stones that can make us do it. And then, like, the creepy kid, uh, uh, Mizuto, that I hate so very, very much, he convinced Ayumi that he's the only one who's on her side because Kishinuma tried to save her life by, you know, destroying the stones. And so now she came here and now she's separated from Mizuto and can't get back because she doesn't have the stones and everything's bad. But we're just going to see what happens. I think this is just a bad ending. We're going to find out. Hey, baby. Ow. How much health do I have? God, it's taking so much to die. There we go. Oh, oh, my head fell through the through the building there. So is it game over? Is there no bad end? Mortality. Save to the system data. Yes, yes, I would. Okay. Okay, so good news. We've discovered a lot of things. There's a murky yellow liquid inside the bucket. Uh, filling the hall with a noxious odor. It's probably pee. This is really disgusting. Not that anything in here isn't, though. I found batteries in there! I guess? Ah! Okay. Did that hurt me? A little bit, it did. Hello, sir, you're dead. A dead body! Before me were the skeletal remains of a human being sprawled out unceremoniously on the ground. Uh, this is definitely Heavenly Host. This person. I have no idea who he is, but somehow I feel like I've met him before. Name tag rests beside the corpse. Toshihisa Goto. No, I don't recognize it. Decapitated by a wire while searching for friends. Okay. Something on the floor. Bandages! Okay, so I can't go that way. Because of that, I'm going to save again. Because we are now in... Uh, oh. Oh, that can't be good. Mizuto? Rain. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Oh, oh no. That has to be a person! Well, yes, but how do we get over there? Clock's pendulum seems to have stopped at an angle. 
This clock wasn't here last time, was it? And it reads, what, 510, I think? Oh, there are, there are bugs on the wall. Creepy. How did, how? This should be something I can use to cross this hole. I don't have what I need. Can I take this? Can I, can I take this board? I guess I cannot. Doors are fixed to the wall like a model. It shows no indication that it's ever meant to be open. Okay. That doesn't help me. Like, at all. Can I go back into this room where death lives? Then again, I am in the I am in the building where death lives. Horrible things are written on the blackboard, uh, glowing so brightly they almost seem to be backlit. Even with Sachiko gone, malice remains. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Heavenly host, others to all faculty due to the recent kidnappings. Yeah, I, this is yep, yep, that is well known. Large quantity of long black hair stuffed into the cabinet. That is, uh, that is the same as always. Okay, um, can I? I, I need, I need board. Is there board here? Me am, me am in need of board, yes? Where are board? Can I go into here? No, I cannot. Oh, hello, board. It's a loose floorboard. It seems very intact and entirely solid. It should be strong enough to support the weight of a full-grown adult. Perfect! I got a board! Yeah! I turned my battery off because I don't need it right now. All right. Loose board! I should be able to cross now. Uh, what was that? What, uh, what, what to do? What do that? Okay, this leads to the stairs, if I remember properly. Okay, I can't, it won't let me go in there. Hmm? Oh! 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 Sheik. Oh no, Mayu! Huh? What? Mayu! Suzumoto? I have a bad feeling. Sheik. It's me. Ayumi. I've come here to find you. Oh! That's bad. Sheik. Sheik, Sheik, she, 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 Sheik! Ah! Ah, 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 ah! I don't know! I don't know where I'm going! I could probably lose her if I hide it here. She doesn't have a face, so maybe. You can hide in lockers to avoid harmful entities. However, if you're spotted by the entity while trying to hide, it can easily pull you out. Okay. When an entity is near your hiding place, a red circle will be displayed to indicate danger. Good to know. As it moves further and further away, the circle will turn green and eventually go away completely if and when the coast is clear. If and when. Oh, why is that? Why is my heart there? I guess blue means it's far away. Okay. Press the confirm button to exit your hiding place, but be aware if there are entities in sight, you will immediately be chased by them. Make sure you time your exit well. Okay! At least I was able to get away. I have to hurry and find Mizuto, though. Okay. That was... That was fucked up. What is this? It's like a spell symbol? That's not encouraging. No, it is not. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Okay. Can't, I, I, I can't step over that tiny gap, I guess. 
It's no use hiding, you're always being watched! Oh, fuck! Wait, this should lead back to the hallway where, um... Where, sh where Mayu died. Oh, that can't be good. She saw me! <laughs> Lip bad! <laughs> oh, my, I'm so sorry! Oh, okay, good. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, that's the wrong button. I have a feeling I have to get past- OW! That is painful. I have the bandages. Oh good, that helped a lot. Okay. Why? Massive listen here. My Susan's remains are no longer present. Yeah, it's because she's chasing us! I just ran over the spikes! <laughs> Yuki! Yuki! Yuki, help me! Ow! Ooh! My chin smashed against the floor and the wind was completely knocked out of me. My entire field of vision turned white as if I'd been drenched in some unholy uh, uh, phosphorescence. <coughs> you... What? What? Who is that? No! Then everything went black. Various innocent forms blurred together in front of my eyes, and all of a sudden, felt as if not my body, but my mind had been shattered to pieces. Wait, hold on. Is that... Was that the true end of that chapter? Hold on! Okay, yeah, apparently that is, um... That is... The end of that chapter. Okay. Yeah, let's save the system data, sure, but, um... There is a, a bad ending there. So I'm gonna... Okay, so apparently what you need to do is you need to let Mayu kill you. Okay, so I'm gonna do that real quick, like. Ow. Oh, it doesn't take much for the spirits to kill you. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh my God. Wrong end! <laughs> Regrets! And returning. Yep, I got all of the uh, stuff for this chapter. Perfect! Hooray, I guess! Oh my god. And now we're moving on to chapter two! Oh my god! Respective desires. Okay, I guess! What? Spiritual report. Witnesses to brutal attacks. Chizai's eyewitness MO comes from this residential home near Mejuro Station. Can you hear me at the studio, Mr. Minaya? On this map, we've marked the locations of each of the recent bizarre deaths that have occurred throughout this area. There's 23 Wards, Chiba, Saitama, and Yamanashi. As you can see, the sudden death of all... Uh, the sudden death of a female middle schooler just the other day occurred not far in the Mejuro area. That is fairly near your location. That is fairly near your location. Yes, the police are investigating all possibilities on both the suicide and homicide spectrum. However, literally snapping a person's spine in two is a seemingly impossible prospect. And the mystery is compounded by the fact that, outside of those broken backs, these victims suffered no other wounds whatsoever. 
Are you saying their spines may have somehow snapped on their own, as opposed to being broken by someone? That's right. It's been theorized this may have been some form of strange new disease that affects a person's bone structure. All of this happening in a humble place like Mejuro, which remains silent and friendly despite its placement along the Yamanote train route toward Ikebukuro and the Toshima Ward. Oh, God damn! The, the, the noise from the anchor scared me! Why did that scare me? We give our regards to those affected by this tragedy and hope for a swift end to this macabre epidemic. TV's on, huh? Guess she's home. I was about to head into her room and scold her for wasting electricity like that, but was sidetracked when I heard the fax machine accepting a call and began printing. Once the contents had been fully transmitted, I grabbed the printout of the machine and took a look. Product order sheet has expected. Ah... <sighs> Hail Promotions, Inc. No room to write Perfect Life anymore, I guess. But when did she add the co to it? This company of hers is quite the enterprise, it would seem. Aiko! Best girl! Hi! I sat down on the bed at my desk and produced the pouch containing the Ever After Stone, or rather the pouch that was supposed to contain the Ever After Stone. Once I slipped it open and turned it upside down, however, a plain ordinary marble rolled out instead. My! Well played, Kishinuma. Not that it matters. Took the red box out of my bag and sh shuffled through the uh, shattered pieces of rock inside, ultimately finding what I sought. A clump of white crumpled paper. Carefully unfolding it, I produced another two Ever After Stones. So she, so there was more than just one set. This is good. With this, we can rescue Ayumi. Virtually identical to the ones now in Ayumi and Yoshiki's possession. I found another pair, you see. <laughs> I slotted the stones together in proper positions, then sat back down and stared intently at them as they glowed menacingly from my desk. I was planning to go to Heavenly Host with or without you after all. <laughs> I guess we're even now. Hmm? My phone buzzed, alerting me I just received an email. The sender, dis uh, the sender display read mm, asterisk. Subject, whereabouts unknown. Body of message, Book of Shadows is in the Nirvana. Obtain it and you will be handsomely rewarded. Uh, copyright, spirit, item, auctions, powered by Futhark. Spirit item auctions, huh? Wish I knew where this info was coming from. Ha! <laughs> Either way, the Book of Shadows location has now been confirmed, and the timing couldn't be better. It'll be a race then, since I was just about to head to the Nirvana myself anyway. She has no idea what she's walking into! The Arami was growing heavier as the stones uh, pumped the room full of unholy energy. Just waiting for the magic words to whisk me away, to whisk me away. I grinned, then separated them. Huh. Let's see if I can get the Book of Shadows before poor little Ayumi does. <laughs> I never truly intended to work with those two. I really just wanted to get closer to them. For this task, the obsessor and I will be more than sufficient. We just need to act before that meddlesome girl finds out I have these. So if there's... So if she has another pair, there's a good chance there are even more. I clasped my hands together, planted my elbows on the desk, shut my eyes and rested my chin on my thumbs as I attempted to sort out my next move. A wry grin slowly crept across my face. This isn't like me at all, is it? Consuming myself with one single object for so long. Sorry, Ayumi, but you can't bring back people from the dead with black magic. It's just not that simple. Wow, you lied to her. <sighs> God damn it, Aiko. I rocked back and forth in my chair and let out a long sigh. It had been quite a day. Articles of the deceased, though, are another matter entirely. 
I must bring back a spirit item imbued with the soul of its owner, a vessel through which he or she can speak. <laughs> I smiled again as I stretched my arms. Maybe I can pack my good friend Naho into a spirit item and make her part of my collection? <laughs> this hobby of mine has turned me into a monster, but I just can't wait. I contorted my body to get a better view of the picture frame I'd positioned on the corner of my desk. It was just another of the cheap photo frame money can buy, totally not in keeping with anything else in my room. It housed the very first photo sticker I'd ever taken with Naho and Sayaka. The two of them were smiling and hugging each other while I was awkwardly standing behind them, looking a little sheepish. Oh! Uh, I think that... I think that she was a lot more attached to them than she lets on. But I think that this is um, kind of like... You know, her being detached and aloof is kind of a way of, like, keeping herself grounded so she doesn't, you know, give in to the sadness, you know? It was the first and only time we'd ever gotten our photo taken together. Guess the planets must have aligned just right for us that day. I took the frame in both hands and studied it intently. Then, after I don't even know how long, I noticed that the figures in it were getting kind of blurry. I wanted nothing more than to hear their voices again. That's right, I remember now. Ah. Sayaka's actual objective is, is like it's 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 not necessarily noble I would say but it, it's understandable so I rubbed my eyes realizing that my biggest wish was just to talk to them just one more time Naho I don't know what came over me but I started hugging the frame no more words no more movement I just sat there with my friends Welcome back, I. With a start, I separated myself from the photo and clumsily placed the frame back on the desk. What do you want? Don't just let yourself in my room. I knew it. Yep, yep, they're related. It's been a while, I. I've had some time on my hands, so I decided to stop in. Have you been doing well? Or not so well, perhaps? Don't worry, I've been just fine. But you, you need to stop leaving the TV on. It'll attract spirits. Oh my, I'm very sorry. I just get so lonely when I'm here by myself, so I turned it on for... noise. <laughs> I stood up and tried to push past her into the hallway. Will you just let me through? I'm thirst... here. With a slightly embarrassed smile, Kuan revealed a glass of barley tea that she'd been hiding behind her back. You always did have a knack for knowing what people want, right when they want it. It's a little off-putting. Hmm? Do I? I just figured you'd probably be thirsty, that's all. With a smirk, I took the glass from her and chugged the tea. Mm. As I drank, I found myself eyeing the white wristwatch on her arm. The soft, glowing blue numerals on the display were surprisingly fetching, though clearly not a, this was clearly not a cheap watch. I don't know how you do it, working as a bigwig CEO and moonlighting as a high school teacher. It's pretty impressive stuff. <laughs> No, no, it's nothing. I just like making people happy, that's all. Always the same with her. She has no idea the kind of burden she effortless... Her effortless genius places on all the people around her. And on top of that, my older sister here was also astoundingly sensitive to spiritual energy as well. She certainly didn't have a lot left for me to specialize in. Becoming CEO has actually made my job a lot easier giving me the opportunity to achieve that old dream of becoming a teacher. I consider myself rather blessed. Kuan clasped her hands together in front of me, almost as if in prayer. She wasn't acting. She truly was happy. 
Well, that's good. Thank you for the tea. I'll be heading out now. A little too happy. I didn't need to feed the beast. With a dismissive gesture, I handed her my glass and began packing my bag. I couldn't stick around any longer. I? What are those stones? I'm sensing a very significant power from them. Oh, shit! What do you care? Leave me alone! My sister was better than me in practically everything. I wasn't about to let her horn in on this now, too. Ah. I tried to maintain a cold, tough exterior as I finished gathering my things. Inside, I honestly felt kind of bad, but I couldn't let up. You need to stop worrying about me. I'll see you again, okay? In like half a year, probably. Good luck with your work. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Hey, I... I think I might be in love with someone. <gasps> oh! Certainly wasn't expecting that. I spun on my heels and looked Kuan straight in the eye. Her cheeks were rosy red. I'd never seen her this way before. Really? That's good to hear. But I wasn't going to let her pull me in. I continued to be as cold as I could muster with her, speaking in short, broken sentences. Finally, without another word, I managed to escape. Is, is she in love with Satoshi? Kind of creepy, honestly. I mean... She is a teacher. He is a student. That is kind of not okay. Kuan and I lived on the 40th floor of a rather high-class apartment building. The 40th floor! Holy fuck! But Kuan was always busy with her work at PL Promotions Co. Inc. So... <laughs> PL Promotions Co. Inc.? Oh my god. So she spent most nights at company housing instead. That made this apartment more or less a single for me. It was all mine. And now Kuan was working a second job as a teacher, too. <laughs> it was like there was no talent she didn't possess. I called it impressive before, but honestly, it was kind of creepy. Hello, sir. Inumaru? Niwa! Haruyuki, did I keep you waiting? Oh, no, not at all. You're going through, right, Niwa? I'm ready. Let's do this! Sayaka, please be alive. I'm coming for you. I've got water and food. Sayaka's dead, bro. I'm so sorry, bro, but she dead. Now his friend, Sayaka Owe. She's definitely cute, so much so that she actually did some modeling. She was always right at Naho's side, supporting her in everything she did, including her spiritual investigations. And right at Sayaka's side, always constantly confessing his undying love and devotion, was her classmate Haruyuki here. He's got good spiritual sensitivity, but well, he's a bit overly optimistic, notoriously so. And Sayaka never took his advances very seriously, not that that ever stopped him. Wait for me, Sayaka! I hate seeing a light like that die out. It's painful to watch. Yeah, she's dead. I'm sorry, bro. You should have told him before that, before going in there, though. He's a little too hopeful. That could be bad in there. Oh, Yuki. I haven't confirmed this for certain, but based on my intel, Naho is already dead. Which means Sayaka might also... You know. You should probably be prepared for the possibility... She's not dead! Sinoki was with her. So if Sinoki died, I'm certain that she died shielding Sayaka from harm. And if she did, then we have to be doubly sure we save her, so that Sinoki won't have died in vain. I get the desire to believe that, but if Naho Sinoki, of all people, died in there, what possible chance do you think a normal human could have? Oh, it's her! You've got no business over there, Aiko Niwa. This expedition is pointless. Stand down. Magari Mizuki. How did she find out? Damn, she's fast. 
I know you. You transferred in recently. I'll give you one thing, Aiko Niwa. You did well finding a viable means of getting into the Nirvana. I warned you countless times not to try getting the better of me, however. So what's it going to be? How about you hand over those stones to me like a good little girl? What? I don't think so. I have plans of my own for them. Well, I can't use Ayumi Shinozaki's anymore, since that shit-ass hoodie punk got the jump on them. So the ones you've got are my only options now, aren't they? And I'm through with failure. Hand them over or I'll kill you. Simple, no? Got the jump on them. So Ayumi is already in Heavenly Host, then. Izuki, you're... Shut up or I'll fucking kill you! You fucking peasants should just let yourselves be slaves to fate like everyone else. It's a hell of a lot easier. What are you saying? <laughs> Isn't it customary to address upperclassmen with some modicum of respect? May I remind you, I'm a year ahead of you, and frankly, I never cared much for you to begin with. <laughs> You're just making it easier to justify slicing you to ribbons. Keep on fanning the flames, upperclassman Aiko. It's your funeral. And it's our goodbye. Hold on to me, Haruyuki. Here we go! Is this... You owe me. I gave you that info on Yoshi Shinozaki. Or is money all you care about, you filthy gold digger? Don't you know? The Book of Shadows is over there. Once I get my hands on it, I'd be happy to sell it to you for the right price. Yeah! Nirvana, I summon the dead! She got the stones! Oh, unbeknownst to me, at least for another few moments, Maguri had managed to snatch the two Ever After Stones from my hands at the last possible moment. They were now in her possession, and now there's no way for you to get back! God, everyone's getting trapped over there! They're mine! <laughs> I can't believe it. Now I can jump to the Nirvana anytime I'd like. <laughs> I think I've earned myself some free time. <sighs> Hard to believe Ayumi Shinozaki beat me to the punch, though. Who else survived the Nirvana again? Hmm. All right, that little fungus made it back too, didn't she? Perfect. I know just the person I can send to look in on her. We're here. Oh, holy shit. Is this heavenly host? Ow, what is this? Where are the stones? My palm had a perfectly straight cut all the way across, practically bisecting my hand. It was bleeding quite a lot and hurt like hell. Ah, oh, she got her with the scythe. I quickly searched my pockets, but there were no trace of the Ever After Stones. They were gone. Niwa? I saw what happened. Just before we jumped, Mizuki managed to swipe the stones with a scythe. What? Without those stones, we can't go back! We'll be trapped here forever! We will? No, we'll be fine. A girl named Ayumi should have the other pair. We just need to meet up with her before she leaves here, and we can tag along. Okay, but Niwa, before that... Hmm? We should look for her. She's here, right? Sayaka? Yes. Typical Haruyuki. Uh, thy love before thine own self. It's 
It's awfully dark here. Should I light one of my candles? No need for that, Niwa. Fire's dangerous. So, here. Why? Haruki pulled a monstrously huge flashlight from his backpack, then he shone it up under his chin, campfire tail style. He started making faces, obviously hoping I'd be amused. I wasn't. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I think that'll work. Whenever I did that to Sayaka, no matter how down on the dump she was, she'd always crack a smile. <laughs> I'd get kicked black and blue afterwards, but it was totally worth it. That's why I brought it here. Never considered that a spiritual plane like this might be pitch black, though. <laughs> Guess I thought ahead without even knowing it. Wow, by God, you're that dumb. <laughs> if I were Sayaka, I'd be thrilled to have a childhood friend who was so utterly devoted to me. I wonder what it is she doesn't like about him. The fact that he's <laughs> really annoying, probably. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. I came here to find some physical remnant of Naho and to track down the grimoire known as the Book of Shadows. Haruyuki came to find Sayaka. In order to get back to our own world, we have no choice but to locate Ayumi Shinozaki as well. Guess we have our work cut out for us. Oh, when you're traveling with uh, two or more, press the switch character button to switch out your lead character. Whoever takes the lead will be more susceptible to incurring damage from traps or hazards, so be sure to keep track of your party members' HP and switch leaders as necessary. How do, uh, how, how do I do that? I don't... Oh! Oh! <laughs> The switch characters button is also the menu button. I should probably change that up a bit. Okay, so I've got that fixed. And I think that even though it's, it's a little early, I think that this is probably the best place to cut it for this episode before we actually start getting into all of the, the stuff that's going to happen with uh, Aiko and uh, Haruyuki, I think his name is. I'm not 100% sure on his name. But... Either way, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Yeah, oh boy, next time. Oh god, just I told you it's a bad idea to come here, but everyone decides to come here because they think, oh, it'll be fine. It will not be fine. This is a bad place. So now we're gonna have to deal with that next time. So thanks again, everybody, and as always, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, you know what to do. Like comment, subscribe it if you're not already, ring that bell for all them notifications is, and until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. Hey there, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you consider subscribing to my Patreon so I can keep making awesome videos like the one you just saw. The link will be in the description below, and as always, have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day.